in this lesson we will discuss about the lights and uh, the basics of lights so i'll click on lights and if you see there is a photometric just click on photometric and say standard right now we will discuss uh, photometric later on so right now we'll discuss the standard lights which is by default in 3d max first uh, there's a, a light called target spot and i'll just drag this target spot from front viewport which is uh, from right you can drag like this if you see in perspective view um, we see this spot and uh, you know after this uh, circle we can adjust this spot like this for example i'll just move this light but the target is not moving the target is there i say control z on my keyboard and if i'll click here that is a selection filter i'll select the lights now i'll select the whole thing if you select everything the lights only lights will get selected that's the beauty of the uh, selection filter i always use this uh, while i'm making uh, working in projects so now i'll select this light and drag this to the perfect center so now if you select this light target you can move here and there and if you see apart from that circle that this uh, circle of the light there the, the, there is no light at all so for that i'll just click on light select this light i'll go to modify this is the name of the light that is a spot 001 and if you see there is a general parameters for it i'll say on and off you can set off and on and of course there is a target we can uh, switch this off and now there is the no target we can move this light freely this is the same uh, as the free uh, free spot i'll show you later on i'll go to modify by default uh, this uh, parameters uh, docs is like this i'll just stretch this to see more parameters i'll say shadow on and if you see if you if you make shadow on we get this shadow on our viewport but if you are in realistic then only we can see this shadow and if you click on realistic and click on any other mode say shaded you will not see this shadow so i'll click and say realistic by now it's okay i'll go and uh increase this intensity i'll open this i'll click on expand in this there's a multiplier we can increase or decrease if you increase the scene gets more light or brighter side or if you decrease it the light gets uh, dimmer and dimmer so by default it's 1 you can increase uh, you can change uh, the light color by default it's white you can of course you can change any color if you want and change this color and you will get this color uh, emitted now i'll select this to white i'll say okay if you see there is a spotlight parameters i'll just expand it i'll increase this hot hot spot beam you can see there is a more coverage of the light if you see on top we are increasing the hot spot if you decrease the fall off the see it shows we are decreasing the whole uh, coverage of the light if you increase the hot spot it will be like this but if you increase the hot spot and if you come down with the hot spot the edge will be get softer and softer if you see i'll come down with the hot spot like this the edge will be get softer for that i'll just make a quick render there's a teapot icon i'll just click production render production by default uh, it's switch to default uh, scan line render 
right now it is in v ray i'll just um, make that change i'll go to render settings what happened yeah i'll go to render settings uh yeah go down and say assign render I click and say default scan line render now if you see render it will be much more faster so this is what and if you increase this hot spot you can increase this coverage let's say render and here is the ambient area where the dark uh, we shade we are seeing and this is a shadow uh, i'll discuss uh, shadow in detail uh, right now i'll just uh, off this render now if you see there is a shadow parameters i'll say shadow parameters and if you see there is a color of the shadow and density so what it does i can change this color if you see the shadow is black i can change this color to any color if you want see the shadow color has been changed uh but if you see the ambient color which is on the object is not has been changed so the reason behind we have taken shadow map and shadow map is a basically a, a bitmap generated by the object in 3d max when we on this shadow so this is not a shadow is in on the object this is the ambient area of the of, uh, of the of that object where light doesn't reach there so for that how to tackle this problem uh, i'll switch to black because generally it's always uh, we keep in on black so now if you come down with the density say 0.5 you can come down with density of this uh, shadow but not we have come down with this black shade how to tackle this i'll just add one more light i'll just add target spot again and now this time if you see the direction of the light is from the right and opposite side there is a black so now i'll drag from left i go to modify now i don't want target i just move this i'll just move this like here and i'll just rotate it i'll press e on my keyboard go to modify i increase the hot spot now i'll decrease the multiplier say some around 0.5 now the shade we have come down with uh, this side 0.4 so now if you see this is the shade uh, falling the shadow is falling here and the ambient area is uh, matching i'll just see the render so this is what uh we have uh, tackled this problem and if you say uh, this black area what we have to do again we have to add one more light to it but in this case what i feel i'll just delete this light press delete on my keyboard so now i'll say render again yes so now i'll just go to create and say lights i'll say now omni omni is basically a 360 degree uh, light emitter so when i place this light and make this light something like this so we can get the same result and it's very quick to do that i'll go to intensity it's uh, yes previous intensity is 0.4 so now we have uh given the shadow as well and we have uh, tackled this uh, ambient area problem this is how we do it uh, we start with one light and then we go on increasing the lights and if you want to see more about lights how to do the lighting in 3d max we have a separate uh, chapters and lessons for that and please do refer uh, that lessons to get a more knowledge of lightings
so in next lesson we will see many different things thank you